mass and inertia. At the beginnings of these lessons, I already told you that mass is strongly related to inertia. The effect of inertia on an object is affected by the mass of the object. And the greater the mass, the greater the effect of inertia. So it means if you have a big mass, then the effect of inertia will be stronger. And for example, so a bucket filled with sand is more difficult to be moved or stopped from moving compared with an empty bucket. So we have two buckets here. Uh, one is empty and one is uh, filled with sand. And if you try to apply a force on both of this bucket, okay, try to push it from the side, okay, from the side, uh, not lifting it up, no, it's not lifting it up, uh, okay, but we try to push it from the side. So what do you think? Which one will be more difficult to be moved? Okay, yeah, of course, in the diagram, it's already told you that. Uh, the one with sand is more difficult to be pushed, okay? You try to push it, then you will find that this is more difficult to be pushed. Uh, why? Why? Now, this is not because uh, the, the second bucket is heavier. Heavier means that it has a greater weight, right? If, if it's heavier, okay? Heavier means uh, it has a bigger weight or greater weight. And weight is owing to gravity and gravity pull it downwards if you try to lift it you will find that the one filled with sand is uh, more difficult to be lifted because it's heavier that's due to gravity but now in this case we do not lift it okay we try to push it from the side and if you push it from the side then uh, it's not affected by the weight okay the weight is acting downwards huh? okay. the weight acting downwards but we try to pull it from the side so, so this is not uh, due to the weight, eh? okay? Uh, if it's not due to the weight, then why? Uh, of course, we are discussing inertia, then you should know that this is due to inertia, right? Okay, so we have learned that the greater the mass, the greatest of, uh, the greatest of the effect of inertia. So this one uh, filled with sand, it has greater mass, and therefore the e effect of inertia is also greater. And inertia is the property that resists motion, right? Okay, so if you try to push it, then the one filled with sand will try to oppose your attempts to move it, okay, owing to inertia, not, not because of uh, the weight eh, or because it's, it's heavier. The bucket filled with sand has greater mass and hence it has a greater effect of inertia and greater tendency to resist the attempt to change its state of motion. So again, greater mass, greater effect of inertia. Okay. An empty trolley is easier to be moved or to be stopped from moving compared with a trolley fully loaded with uh, grocery. Okay, so reasonable because it, if it's empty, then it has lower mass and lower mass means uh, lower effect of inertia. So lower inertia means that uh, you can move uh, this trolley easily. Uh, so the trolley loaded with a grocery has greater mass and hence greater effect of inertia to resist any attempt to change its state of motion. Means that if it's not moving, you try to move it, it's more difficult if it's full with uh, stuff, okay? And if you want to change the direction, you will find it more difficult, eh? okay? You want to speed, speed up, more difficult. You want to stop it, also more difficult. Uh, because uh, greater mass, greater effect of inertia. Uh, next, a car loaded with more passengers is more difficult to be controlled. Well, this, that's the uh, same reasons, okay? Uh, with more passengers, the mass increases and hence increase the effect of inertia. This makes the car more difficult to change its speed and more difficult to stop and more difficult to change directions, okay? Due to inertia. Uh, 